Today we're going to talk about the distance formula. The formula is D equals R times T. When we take a closer look, the D is going to represent the distance or how far did you go. The R represents the rate or how fast you were going and T represents the time or how long did it take you. So distance equals rate times time. When we're talking about distance, distance is generally going to be in miles or feet or meters or kilometers. Okay, any way that you can measure the length or the distance of something is going to be distance. Now time is usually minutes, seconds, hours. The rate is going to combine the two. So the rate would be like miles per hour is the most common one. Feet per second you will sometimes see if someone is running. Um, or you could see kilometers per hour. So the rate is combining the distance and the time. Let's try one using the formula distance equals rate times time. It says a car traveled 55 miles per hour for two and a half hours. How far did the, tra did the car go? If a car traveled at 55 miles per hour, I would plug in 55 for the rate. For two and a half hours tells me that my time was two and a half. I could write this also as 2.5, sometimes that's a little bit easier to see, and I'm trying to find the distance. So plugging in what I know to the formula, I'm going to have distance equals 55, that was my rate, miles per hour, times 2.5, and that was my time hours. When you multiply 55 times 2.5, you get that the distance was 137.5 miles. Now the reason why I know that the distance was measured in miles is because the rate was given to me in miles per hour. I'm going to use the distance from the, the distance word from the rate, which in this case was miles, to label my distance as miles. The next example says Ella drove from Lawton to Tulsa, a distance of 287 miles. She drove an average of 70 miles per hour. About how long did the trip take? Notice here I am given the distance that she drove, which was 287 miles, and then it tells me that she drove at, a, at an average speed of 70 miles per hour. Any time we're seeing miles per hour, we know that that is the rate. So distance is 287 equals the rate was 700 times time. We do not know how long it took. That's what we're trying to find. If you look, 287 equals 70 T. 70 times T is what we're doing on the right side. I need to solve for my variable T, which means that I need to get rid of 70. This is the same as solving a one-step equation. Because we're multiplying 70 times t, I need to do the inverse of that, which means I need to divide by 70 on both sides of the equation. When I divide by 70, I'm going to find that t equals 4.1 hours. Again, using the distance formula, it says an airplane traveled 1,200 miles in three hours. How fast was the airplane traveling? Notice I am giving, given my distance, 1,200 miles, and the time, three hours. So this time I am going to be trying to find the rate. Plug in 1,200 for distance equals three times R. Three is my time, and I'm trying to find the rate. To solve for r, I need to divide by 3 on both sides. When I divide by 3 on both sides, I find that the rate is 400. And the where I get miles per hour from is because it tells me that the distance was 
1,200 miles, and it tells me that the time was three hours. So I need to put together miles and hours to find my rate, which is miles per hour. The next example says Mike drove three hours to the airport at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. Then he flew in a plane for two hours at an average speed of 220 miles per hour. How far did Mike travel? First he traveled in a car, then he traveled in an airplane. So to find how far he traveled altogether, I need to find the distance that he drove and then the distance that he flew, and I would need to add those two uh, distances together to find his total distance. I can do this using the distance formula. First, I'm gonna let's talk about the car. It says he drove three hours to the airport at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. So I'm given the rate, 60 miles per hour, and the time, three hours. So to find how far he drew, drove, in his car, I would need to do distance equals 60 times 3, and 60 times 3 is 180, and this we're talking about miles because it was miles per hour. It says then he flew in a plane for two hours at an average speed of 220 miles per hour. To find the distance that he traveled in the plane, I need to take two hours times the 220 miles per hour, the rate, and I find that he flew 440 miles. To find how far he traveled altogether, I would need to add these two values together. 180 plus 440 is, that gives you the total distance of 620 miles. So how far Mike drove and flew all together was 620 miles. Now it's going to be your turn to try the distance formula. You will have a worksheet for homework today.